Yu-Gi-Oh! is on Pawn Stars? We're reacting now. What's up guys, we're back with a uh, video we don't do very often. We don't react to a lot of stuff on this channel, but this is one that I was like, ah, I probably don't need to react to this. And I was like, I need to react to this. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pawn Stars. Pawn Stars, it's time to duel first edition Yu-Gi-Oh! Cards for Sale Season 20. So many of you have seen the original Gary from Pawn Stars with the Pokemon episode where he asked for like half a million dollars. The dude on Pawn Stars, I don't know his name, whatever the dude, the main dude, the bald guy. He was like, hey, yeah, that's crazy. Like cards, har, har, har. And then like this whole thing happened with cards becoming very expensive. Everyone knows the cards are expensive, or at least most people know. So this, I feel like this episode is not going to be like as like interesting because that one was kind of like, what do you want that much for cards that's so weird this one they're probably going to be like oh yeah that's pretty reasonable for you to want that so we're going to react to it and uh this is Yu-Gi-Oh prodigy who we were on his podcast he's been around on instagram for a very long time so we're gonna go check this out see how it went it's only five minutes and 16 seconds so it shouldn't be too long of a video what's collection i think you might be interested in Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> so I have a unlimited sealed booster box. Okay. Also a glossy first edition booster box. All right, so we got a glossy box and an unlimited box so far. Edition booster box. And then I have the... Oh yeah, we've opened some of these on the channel. I think I've opened six or seven of these. These are kind of weird because these are a third party package product. So they're first edition packs that a third party such as, you know, like MJ Holding or something like that that we have now with the mystery boxes. They just put them into blister packs. Not sure why they did that like honestly i guess just to sell single packs because they never made first edition blisters if you guys didn't know that they never made first edition legend of blue eyes blisters after that they did they made unlimited legend of blue eyes then they made first edition metal raiders but they never actually made official first edition legend of blue eyes blisters these are the only ones you can get so maybe that's why this happened i don't know and the blisters and then two of the unlimited blisters okay so as you see like this is what the official would look like the official blisters like we've opened a lot of on the channel like metal raiders pharaonic guardian all that stuff it has like the artwork on the back and then it has like the the actual pack in there but with the repackaged ones it's just like a plastic thing i'm always disappointed that these don't exist in first edition because if you're like watching pokemon stuff they open these first edition pokemon blisters and like they're legit and like you know they're unweighed because they're in a blister and they're actual official wizards of the coast products so it's like if konami had that that would be so cool but they don't so this is what it would look like with first edition on the pack which would be awesome but it doesn't i'm here at the pawn shop today to sell my one-of-a-kind Yu-Gi-Oh collection the products themselves okay they're, are they using the same b-roll uh, this doesn't matter at all but i'm pretty sure they're using the same b-roll with like the saturation turned up as earlier let me go back look at this i have an unlimited booster box watch this b-roll i'm here at the pawn shop today to sell my one of a kind it's the same clip the products themselves just turn the saturation up surely not the next one it's the same they literally use the same clips oh my god they have a five minute segment it's the same b-roll twice that's so funny i'm looking to get a hundred thousand today Whoa, 100,000. Okay, whoa, whoa, I got a little distracted by the B-roll. Okay, so what he's selling an unlimited box, a glossy box first edition, and a wavy box first edition with 10 packs. Current prices, that's definitely high, but I'm assuming that they recorded this a while ago. I, I don't think that they do this like YouTube videos where you record it and then post it in like three days or whatever. I think that it actually probably takes a few months to actually come out. So if this was a few months ago, then this might have been a more reasonable ask. I need to do a little math. Okay, he said 100,000. I'm thinking like probably 20,000 for the wavy box. I think there was like a 20, $21,000 sale recently, maybe like 18 for the glossy, 4,000 for the unlimited box, and then 8,000 for those loose blisters. That's $50,000. So that's, he's asking for double that. This is Pawn Stars. So I figured that you ask more than you actually would take and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I think at the current price would be like, maybe like $50,000. Let's just see what happens after this. Now this is cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot about the two unlimited blisters. So those are worth, I think 300 bucks. So just add like another or maybe 250 you just had 50,500 something like that you go with it original. wait is this an open box wait just a second wait what is this one did i miss something is this opened wait we gotta go back wait a second okay wait this box looks opened this is not a sealed box is he just selling the empty box this is certainly not sealed okay and then he says box and then i have the repackaged, repackaged packs. packs that you see there in the blisters okay so these two are clearly sealed the unlimited and the wavy box are sealed the glossy is not sealed so is there packs in there or not i'm so confused and this one would have been um the reprinting of it correct correct the reprinting okay that's an interesting way to say unlimited print which technically is a reprint you know unlimited print is a reprint but it's also like not you know like a reprint usually comes out later so it's a little different so basically to play the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game you would take two players okay i saw some of this earlier i think it's hilarious how they just like explain how to play the game like randomly it doesn't even matter each player would create a deck of 60 cards 
then you would start with life points. Not 60, two players max 60, which cards. I don't think they like, even added. I would, basically, the point of the game is for each player to try to eliminate the other player from battle by taking all the life points. The explanation there is hilarious. <laughs> Take a deck, we, we go to battle, we try to eliminate each other until it's the end of the battle. <laughs> it's really funny. So how much are you looking to get for everything here? I'd like to get 100,000. Ooh, $100,000, huh? Okay, um, that seems a little high to me, but... Okay, okay, this is, but the Pokemon, Gary asked 500,000. Come on, Yu-Gi-Oh, let's ask for 500,000. I know it's only worth like, I said 50, but that's when I thought Glossy was sealed, so it's probably less Some than of that. these boxes can be very expensive when you're talking about first edition. So I really need to have someone come down, evaluate the seals of the products, and talk about the value of the products. Um, and then I think we okay, can we maybe get? negotiate on a price from there. Yeah, I have no problem with that at all. Okay, let me- All right, so who are we getting to go come about? Is it gonna be someone we know? Or is it just like some random person that's like sports card guy that, you know, you know how that went. But I'll be interested to see if, if this is somebody we know. Down here, it'll be just a few minutes. Okay. I am looking forward for the expert to come the in expert. today. I feel like my who is the expert in shouldn't be too far off. Um, so I'm really curious to see what his opinion is about it. I want to know when this was recorded because I just, and I want to know if that box is sealed because that matters a lot because that's like a lot of the value. But I like if this was like back in the boom, you know, there's like 50,000 for a wavy box. Like we're actually in the right range at this point, but I don't think it was that long ago. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Hey, pretty good, Chum. How you been? Pretty good. Excellent. Okay, who is this? Matt Quinn, Senior Grading Finalizer, CGC Trading Cards. Okay, some guy from CGC. I don't know who this is, but I also don't know a lot about CGC, at least like who's working there. So he's a grading finalizer, whatever that means. I guess that qualifies him. This is what I called you down about. We'll see. We have some blue eyes, white dragon. Yeah, this looks like a pretty cool collection, actually. You know, this stuff is incredible. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that was a better look. Let's see if we can see. Yeah, this looks like a pretty cool collection. All right, guys, that's not sealed. The glossy is not sealed. So we're looking at, un okay, 100,000, a little crazy. We're probably more like the 35,000 range than the 50 I said. Collection, actually, you know, this stuff is incredibly rare these days. As it gets more open, you know, there's less of it, so. Oh, here it is. Here's the glossy box that's opened. I want to know if there's packs in there. Maybe you can get into them and tell me if you think these are all authentically sealed from Konomi. Konomi, bruh. Come on, man. With the packs, you really want to be looking at the crimp. So you have the crimp right here. Uh, these crimps look absolutely genuine. Um, there's nothing wrong with these packs. They're they're authentic first edition packs. That was it. <laughs> I guess it's only a five a five minute like segment, but like there's no way that's all he said. All right, uh, let me see this. Where's the booster pack? All right, this thousand dollar pack. This has a crimp right here. Okay, good to go. Yep, you're good. Okay, and then here we have a sealed unlimited booster box. You know, what you're looking for on these is the seals, basically. You want to look at the where the plastic is joined together. This wrap looks great. This is this is very, very convincing. Uh, you know, I think it's completely authentic. All right, and here we go. The they're, yeah, they're, they're definitely cutting stuff out of this because obviously you don't just look at it and be like, oh, cool, wrapping, it's good to go. But I think what he did say about like the seals and stuff like that seems legitimate, but there's definitely more things you would look at if you're looking at a sealed booster box. Here we go, the holy grail of the Yu-Gi-Oh! collecting world yeah First holy edition, grill, huh? sealed booster box these are incredibly rare they, they very rarely come to market uh, i'm amazed to see one in my hands right now actually and I wait, wait, wait wait he looks amazed there's also a <laughs> caption right over his eyes and i turned it over right away it, it's making wait whoa, whoa, whoa okay october 2020 first edition blue eyes white dragon card sold for over 85,000. might want to add that that was a psa 10 and also that price has come down a little bit since then but yeah this was uh i want i wonder i want to know when this was recorded but there's no way to know you feel happy there's a flap on the bottom Right here, this flap is important because without that flap, you know it's gonna be resealed. In my mind- <laughs> Look at him, he's so happy. Look at him, he's like, oh yeah, baby, let's go. In my mind, this is a legitimate first edition, um, you know, box and it's it's from the first printing. So this is what's called the, the wavy set, the wavy. You guys wanna know a really good way to tell if these are resealed? First of all, the wavy printing first edition right here, uh, the smaller text that this is, that's wavy. The larger text first edition is always glossy. The reseals and like the, the fakes and all that stuff, they're almost always wavy print. So it would be this print, but you need to look at the Konami logo. Let's see if we can get a good look at it. The best way to tell with this stuff is 
with this Konami logo right here, if the O and the N are touching, this has nothing to do with reseal. This has to do with the fake. So if you guys have seen Simply Unlucky's video from like 10 years ago, where he opened that red back card, like he opened it, all the cards looked really weird and they were like fake uh, counterfeits of Legend of Blue Eyes. This is how you tell if it's one of those. If this O and this N are touching together, that means it's a fake because in the print run of those fake cards, they had like a mess up in the Konami logo when they were trying to, you know, fabricate and make a fake looking Konami logo. Not fake looking, but a fake real looking one. Uh, the O and the N were touching. And it, that's the case with every single fake. So if you see that, do not touch that box because it's fake. You're going to get those red backed fakes in it. So keep that in mind if you're ever trying to like look to buy a wavy box and stuff like that. Uh, that is an actual way to tell. I've told multiple fakes from that. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's an actual good way to tell. And then the reseals a little bit harder. So what value can we put on the whole collection? The ones that are sealed in the hanger packs, those are probably about a thousand a piece. Okay. A thousand a piece. That's actually pretty accurate. I had them at 800 a piece, but I think a thousand, honestly, you might actually get that nowadays too. So a thousand is probably pretty fair for them. And the seal booster box there, you know, probably 4,000. That's exactly what I had. I had 4,000 for the unlimited. Okay. This Yu-Gi-Oh box, this first edition box is, is incredibly important, obviously. I'd say the value of that box today. Okay, 35,000. So this was definitely, I mean, this obviously wasn't like last week. I think there was a sale for like 21,000, like two weeks ago on an auction site. I think it was Heritage. I can't remember which one, but uh, 35, that was the case, you know, a few months ago. So that this could have been then. Looking at it all together, I mean, if I price it out in my head, I mean, $55,000. All right, well, I think that answers everything. Oh, oh no, look at that. Well, there goes my 100,000. I do want this stuff, but I don't know that I can pay that much for it. I'm just gonna try and offer you 25,000 for this first edition box. Oh, he's just going for the box. Okay, I respect that, 25,000. Honestly, very good offer. Like even though it was 35,000, that's really not a bad offer. I think Prodigy knows he could get more though if he was just selling it like on Instagram to like a certain collector. He could probably, back when it was 35, now he couldn't. But like back when it was 35,000, he could probably got more than 25,000. But nowadays, 25,000 would be a great offer because one just sold for like 21, so it'd be great. Box here and hope you take it. Oh man, I've had uh, multiple offers higher than that. So yeah, multiple offers higher than that. Yeah, he honestly probably had. So there's, there's no way I can go that low. All right. Well, it looks like we're not going to make a deal today. Wow, that was quick. There's no negotiating. He's like, well, that's it. You, there's no no haggling. Do you have anything else that you want to bring by? Uh, I would love to take a look at it. Sounds good. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. It just ends abruptly. Like, you think that there's going to be some sort of haggling and stuff, but there's not. It's just like, I'll give you 25K for this box. And he's like, no. And it's just over. So that's actually a pretty interesting episode. Uh, I don't, it's not as good as the Pokemon one because, of course, Chumley actually knew what he was looking at. He knew what he was like, wanted to offer. He's actually interested in the cards versus like the first time, whatever the main dude's name is, like Rick or something. Uh, he's like, no, nah, you're crazy. I don't know what he's paying for this. And clearly people were, and it got crazy. But this was fun to look at. I actually went on a lot longer longer than I thought just talking about some of the stuff but I enjoyed seeing this it's cool that Yu-Gi-Oh made it on to Pawn Stars kind of like five years later after Pokemon but it's about time that it happened if you guys enjoyed this reaction video let me know if you want to see more of these uh nothing really happens in Yu-Gi-Oh so our next reaction will probably be next year but we'll see <laughs> make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content shout out to Toe and Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barty, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.